How to remove an object from a photo in Google Photos. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll guide you on how you can remove an object from a photo in Google Photos. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Now, this feature is basically known as Magic Eraser, which Google introduced. And this feature is exclusively available on Pixel devices for absolutely free. Now, so far, there are up to Pixel 7 Pro devices. So if you use any one of these Pixel devices, then you will get this feature for free. As for other devices, you have to pay a certain amount of price in order to unlock that feature however what you can do is if you have this feature you can just open the google photos app i'll show you how you can use it i'll just select a random photo over here so let's just say this random photo here right once i select a photo by default you can get a suggestion called try magic erasure but if you don't find a suggestion tap the edit option here and then after editing you can just go to this tools tab under tools tab you'll find magic eraser where you want to make sure to simply tap on it when you tap on magic eraser google will automatically give you a list of suggestions of the objects that you might want to remove otherwise you can just highlight around a certain area over here as i said this feature might not be available to all of you over here so let's just say i want to remove a certain thing from a background which could be this little portrait over here right once I select this little portrait here, it will automatically remove that for me as you would be able to find it. So let me just go ahead and remove it like this. And once done, just tap the done option and then that will get successfully removed. So you want to make sure to select erase option here, circle it around and then it will get successfully removed from the background. As you can see, it looks like the photo was no longer there. And this way you will be able to remove an object from a photo in Google Photos. Hope this video was very helpful. If you have got any more questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.